What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, in the last episode, we went through the National Park again, beat everybody there, and, uh, what? We got ourselves a Squirt Bottle, and now we're back here on Route 36, ready to tangle with this guy. Now, I want to capture this guy, so I'm going to have to be safe about it, because... Electric type attacks don't work on this guy, so I'm gonna have to go back to Teddy right here. And I've already saved my game, so let's go right ahead and just touch this guy. It's a weird tree, use a squirt bottle. Yes! And here we go, and uh, this guy's like, wow, the weird tree doesn't like the uh, squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked! So there we go. This is a real life Pokemon right here. And would you look at that? The only Sudowoodo, and he's just wiggling right there. Level 20. It's a pretty good Pokemon. I tried it before, but uh, you know, I'd rather stick with the with the Pokemon I have right here. So I'm trying to or paralyze it, and ooh, probably shouldn't have done that because it just mimicked me. And yeah, this guy's gonna. It, well, that has a way of getting back, or that has a way of getting back uh, and biting me in the you know what. So here we go, another lick again. Come on. You gotta paralyze soon, guy. Come on. Let's go with the lick. Paralysis. Why won't you paralyze? And uh, there's that rock throw attack that, you know, it's dangerous for. So it's a very strong Pokemon. Oh, come on. Why won't you, f well, not faint, but why won't you paral or get paralyzed? There we go. Okay, so now we're working with something right here. And uh, this Pokemon will not go down easily, so it is a Rock-type Pokemon, too. And I don't know why I was worried about that Lick Attack going back at me, so... It's not very effective. There's that Flail Attack, and that Flail just got a little stronger right there. So we're going to go with Scratch, trying to get this guy to just, like, go lower and lower on its HP. So come on! Let's go, Teddy! You caught me a pincer, now catch me a pseudo wudo. There should be wood type Pokemon. Okay, not very effective. And again, it's a rock type Pokemon, so that did me in. Oh my god, okay. So I gotta go to the next Pokemon right here. Uh, mm, let's go to Toxie Batman right here. Feel safer with this guy. Uh, and a leech life would probably do it. Now the, the main problem is it's rock throw. And, uh... uh -oh, that flail attack might get stronger. It did get stronger. Okay, so we gotta, we, we gotta throw some great balls right here. And I did buy myself five great balls off screen. Come on, baby. Stay in that Pokeball. Oh, you jerk. It's fully paralyzed. You know, maybe I should just try and get my po uh, these Pokemon to go to sleep. Because I, I just learned that... Putting the Pokemon, uh, like making the Pokemon go to sleep is a little bit better than, you know, paralyzing it. And uh, that Lick Attack, oh jeez. Come on, Pokeball. If, it, in, if not a Great Ball, then just go into the Pokeball, you jerk. Come on. Get in there. Yes! Oh yes! Suck it, Sudowoodo. Suck it. Okay, so here it is, the Pseudowoodo, the imitation Pokemon. If if a tree branch shakes when there is no wind, it's a Pseudowoodo, not a tree. It hides from the rain. Hmm, okay, well. Alright, so there we go, we got ourselves a Pseudowoodo. Everybody's free, and uh, Gina Picnicker is calling me, and she's like, Hey, it's Gina. My hop up is getting better, yada, yada, yada. Do not want to talk to you. Bye bye, Gina. Okay, so we are free to go to Mahogany Town, but now, now that we're like, now this is open, I'm gonna take care of a few things that we needed to take care of in the beginning. Now, if you go right here, talk to this guy. He's like, "Did you clear that wretched tree?" I'm impressed. I want you to have this. We get ourselves the TM08, which is Rock Smash, and just like Headbutt, you can actually find it in the convenience store too. And this will actually shatter rocks where the you know you'll find them wherever if any rocks are in your way just smash them smash them up all right okay so that's one thing that needed to be taken care of now there's another thing too that we we you know there's you know there's something that we need to take care of here we are back in 
in Violet City. And I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get this because a few days have gone by and stuff. And let's go back up right here. There's just a few things that I need to get and you know take care of. Now here we are back right here. Grab this. It's a bitter berry. Alright, alright, okay, so we're done with that. And if you go right here, and if you still have that that Spiro that you've been given. You can go right here and talk to this guy now. He's like, huh? What's that? You have mail for me? I gotta give Kenya away. So, he's like... Let's see. Dark Cave leads to another road? That's good to know. Thanks for bringing me the, uh, this mail. My, friend is, my friend's a good guy and you're swell too. I like to... I'd like to do something in return. Or do something good in return. I know. I want you to have this. The TM-50. I think it's Nightmare or Snore. I don't know. Oh yes, it's Nightmare. It's a wicked move that steadily cuts the Pokemon's HP... Uh, uh, well, HP of a sleeping enemy. Ooh, that's scary. I don't want to have bad dreams. Okay, alright. So, with that being said, that took... Well, there's no more... There's no more, um, you know, Kenya right here. So we have an open space. And, uh, you know, there is something else that I want to get since, you know, a few days have gone by. And that is get ourselves another berry since Teddy has used up one of them. So let's go back right here. And, uh, grab that. Oh, actually, no, this is Mr. Pokemon's berries. It's a poison cure berry. So we got enough poison cure berries as it is. And, uh, we'll go back. Hopefully no Pokemon attacks us. And, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right here, down the ledge. And here is another berry. You know what? We're gonna be going everywhere. Now that we're just, you know, fix, well, taking care of a few things right here. So here we are back in Cherry Grove City. And there's another berry area right here that we need to get. This guy. Another berry. So now we have six berries. We just need one more. I can wait out another day. Let's see. Or I probably should have just lost. Now, now that we got an open space, maybe I should go straight to the PC in here and get myself that Bellsprout with the cut. Or no, the Oddish. Yes, it's Oddish. Okay, so let's grab ourselves Oddish. Hello. Now we can cut the trees. Get some shortcuts going. That kind of stuff. You know, we're feeling good about ourselves. Okay, so. Now, why did I go in there in the first place? Okay. No Pokemon. Come on. There we go. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why? I have no control of this thing. Do not want to battle this Caterpie. Now, it's been ages since we've been going up against a Caterpie right here. I probably should have revived my Teddy while I was at it. Okay, so I don't want to battle you, bro. Uh, and... Really? Another Pokemon. Just my luck. Oh, look, it's a Pidgey. I haven't seen that before. Hmm, let's go. Come on. Gotta switch it up. Come on. Right here. Um, okay, so look at that. Easy stuff. Easy access. And uh, let's see. I think there's another place, too, that I need to go to. It's, you know, something that's been waiting for us for quite some time that needs the cut technique. So I, I, I think I should do that. So here we are back in Violet City. Hmm. There's a there's a tree right here. Should is there somebody up here? Could couldn't remember. Okay, there there could be somebody up there, but eventually we have to go. Well, I'm gonna find out later on. So let's go down here and back down to Route 32, and we gotta talk to that guy. I remember now. And huh, Pokemon, you gotta love them, right? Oh, look at that. It's a Hoppip. It's not like I haven't seen those before, too. Okay. Go away. Right here, and... Really? Oh, it's a bike shop. He's like, hi, Draven. Our bicycle sales have gone through the roof. We owe it all to your advertising by riding, uh, by riding around on our bicycle. As our way of saying thanks, please keep that bicycle. Thanks again. Alrighty, okay, so I guess we did a good job on advertising, I guess? I don't know. 
But let's cut this thing in half and let's go to this guy right here. He's like, roar! People run when I roar! But you can't you came looking! That releases me or that pleases me. Now take this. Got ourselves the TM05. It's a very good TM. It's roar. Even Pokemon run from a good roar. Okay, so Okay, alright, so that's it for that now I gotta kill my Pokemon because just remembered I have one I have one Pokemon that's fainted so back into the Pokemon Center we are he's like we can heal your Pokemon to perfect health yes you may mm -hmm. does it feel good not to have that Kenya with me anymore it really does although I could have evolved it I don't know okay back out here and here we are going back up to whatever route we are. Oh, Route 36. Yes. Route 36 right here. And we're going to be going north. Going to Mahogany, Mahogany City. Mahogany Town. But before we go battling anybody, this is Route 37 right here. Here's a few fruit bearing, fruit bearing trees. And you can actually find apricorn. So here we go with the black apricorn. Good stuff right there. And right here... A red apricorn. So now we're getting varieties of uh, apricorns right here. I think eventually, like you'll find the other ones like more spread out around here. So there's more apricorn trees, and now we got some challengers right here. So back to Kid Thunder because you know what? He needs to get back up to the level 20s with all of my guys right here. So Route 37. Ann and I are in this together. Okay, so Ann and Annie, or Ann and Ann. I don't get it. They're both named the same thing, just spelled differently. Wow. So here, here they come out with a Jigglypuff. And here I come out with Kid Thunder. Alright, let's go with the Dizzy Punch. A little more physical right here. Hopefully it confuses him. Does it? No, it doesn't, but it... Oh, okay, so come on. Gotta, we gotta make this Pokemon faint before it actually makes us uh, go to sleep. If, yes! And it's confused too, that's right. Come on, hurt yourself! Hurt yourself! And it doesn't hurt itself, wow. Wow, uh, a very good way to screw me over. Okay, so here we go with a quick attack. There we go, Kid Thunder is starting to win things over, look at that. Oh man, I'm so proud of this Pokemon, I really am. So here he comes out with a Clefairy, and Thunder Punch, here we go, for the win. Hopefully it takes, oh no. Okay, so that Double Slap is not good, it's not good at all. Stop it! Okay, she stopped. Dizzy Punch, come on. Confuse the heck out of this Clefairy. It takes a little bit more, that's good. And uh, there's that Growl Attack that we don't like. Well, Kid Thunder's got to learn, or got to earn everything it's got right here, and, uh... Oh, come on! But it's confused. Come on. You gotta faint. No. 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 Dizzy Pinch for the win. And there we go. More experience points for Kid Thunder, and, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gone a long way right there. It's like, <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little losing. Okay, so I gotta move on. There's one more trainer right here, and yeah, bah, whatever. So here we go. This guy's like, Pokemon can't do uh, a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary it is. Hmm. How scary it is. Okay, so here we have Psychic Greg wants the battle, and he's like, he's sending out his drowsy. Okay, alrighty. So here we go with Kid Thunder. Kid Thunder, Thunder Punch. There we go. Oh, come on! Okay, so don't like that. So let's go to talk to Batman. We can put it out of its misery. Let's go. And uh, that Dream Eater does not work because uh, this bite attack is about to bite you. And uh, wow, nearly beats him. But there's that disable attack. No way. I got other moves. I got swift attack. You can't beat me with a swift. I just did. 
And would you look at that? Heck yes! Oh yeah. So as you can see, I lost. That's pretty sad! It is, it's very sad. Okay. Go right here, Route 37. And here we are, finally, in Ecrotech City, guys. So, I hope you guys are happy, because look at that. We're in Ecrotech City, the place that, you know, the next place for our next gym battle. So let's go into the Pokemon Center, and before we do anything, look at this. Nope, that's not our rival. That right there is Mr. Bill. Hi, I'm Bill! And who are you? Hmm, Draven, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustment, uh, adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to tra enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have, you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the, the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry uh, hurry on back to Goldenrod City my, uh, to see my folks. Bye bye Okay, alright. Alright, um... Okay, so stay tuned, guys. Uh, tomorrow, another episode, I guess. Uh... I have a, new, a surprise that maybe you guys will probably would like. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.